Hello everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and today I'll be sharing with you my crock pot roast. So what you're going to need for this um, meal is first of all a crock pot. I have a four pound butt roast. I have nine potatoes because I'm trying to use up some of my potatoes that I have. I'm using two onions, 12 carrots, um, and there's the small carrots that I'll be using. And I'm using two stalks of celery. I'll also be using one pack of Italian salad dressing, the recipe mix, I pick this up from Aldi all the time, and one pack of ranch salad dressing and dip mix. Three teaspoons of Thai basil, three teaspoons of lemon thyme, and these are some dry herbs that I have from the garden that I um, dehydrate and just store in mason jars. And I'm going to cook this on high for four hours. So this is my roast here I'll be using. I'm just going to take it out the pack. And I like to leave this netting on because um, sometimes that the roast, the way the butcher has put the meat together, there are pieces of meat versus, you know, one large piece of meat. So I like to keep it together and put it in a crock pot so it doesn't fall apart. You might see that a little bit after um, before I get to cut it. Um, so here is is after I have taken it out the plastic and you can see this is like the little cotton netting that I like to keep on it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my seasoning package that I have and I'm going to rub it down with those the Italian and the ranch seasoning packs. Rub it down really well. I'm also going to put a little olive oil so it'll stick. Now here are all my vegetables cut up. Like I said, I use some celery. I use um, potatoes, onions, with the exception of my carrots. I haven't put those in yet. I don't have to cut those in. I cut those up and just putting them in whole because they're little baby carrots. So, and like I say, um, take any vegetables you have in your fridge that aren't, are possibly about to go bad. You don't want them to go bad. So I like to throw all of that in the crock pot with my roast. Now here I'm just, um, like I say, rubbing my roast down. I put a little olive oil on it and I'm using the seasoning package to rub it down. And everything now is in the crock pot. I did put one little layer of some vegetables at the bottom and then I just covered all the rest um, on the top and then I poured in my um, thyme and my basil. And now I'm just going to, uh, it's already on, for, um, on high and I'm going to let it cook for four hours. So four hours have passed and this is my roast. Doesn't it look delicious? So now what I'm going to do, I have my electric knife out. I'm going to remove the cotton um, mesh that's on it and I'm going to cut that off and then I'm going to slice it with my electric knife. I like to slice it up into pieces, um, but I do just some other suggestions. So I'm going to have it for dinner as a roast. You can also slice some up and I'm putting it aside for my husband's sandwich. I'll be making him a sandwich for lunch tomorrow. And all the juice that's left over in the crock pot, I'm going to put it in a container and freeze it for later use. If I had a use for it this week, like I'll be using it for, I can make a soup, I can make some gravy, I'll keep it in the refrigerator. However, I don't know when I'll make the soup, so I'm going to store it in the freezer to preserve it. Um, another thing, if, if you notice, when I cooked my roast, I didn't put any water in it, and this is all the juice that came from that. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. This is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com. Bye-bye.